the ayes are 90, the nays are 8, the bill is passed. The centerpiece for the relief package would give workers at companies with fewer than 500 employees up to 12 weeks of paid family and sick leave to deal with virus-related issues. It would also bolster unemployment insurance, increase spending on health insurance for the poor, and add $1 billion in food aid. As the Senate was tallying votes, the president was assuring the country the government is heading off a crisis he likened to a war. We must sacrifice together because we are all in this together and we'll come through together. New York will be a chief beneficiary of the relief package with $6 billion for the state alone, including $1 billion for unemployment benefits and $15 million dedicated to seniors who might need meals. The Senate is now looking at a separate economic stimulus package with a price tag the White House has ramped up to $1.3 trillion. It would include $500 billion directly to Americans, $50 billion in loans to airlines, and $150 billion to depress sectors of the economy. If there are going to be some of these corporate um, uh, bailouts, we need to make sure workers and labor come first, that people are not laid off, that people's salaries are not cut. The same day, Governor Andrew Cuomo also signing a bill to guarantee paid sick leave for New Yorkers under mandatory or precautionary quarantine. The degree of the payments will depend on the size of the company. And the governor said in a statement, quote, no one should have to make the impossible choice between losing their job or providing for their family and going to work, especially during this pandemic. He also said that we seek to build upon this effort with guaranteed sick leave for all in this year's budget. However, uh, critics are pointing out right now with this a current sick leave bill that was just passed yesterday, it does leave out a lot of workers, including many who are immigrants hourly or at the freelance level. Live in Midtown, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News. Important to know, Anthony, thank you.